Hello, I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change audio pitch in Final Cut Pro. Maybe you want to fix your voice, or be silly and add a crazy effect, or maybe you want to disguise your voice. Either way, I'll show you how to do it all. In this video, I'll show you why the audio in your recordings might be coming through lower than what it should sound like. Then I'll show you how to retime clips and a way that you can do it without affecting the pitch. Or changing the pitch if you want. Next, I'll show you how to do auto-tune in Final Cut. And then I'll show you the fastest pitch effect in Final Cut and how to use the pitch shifter effect. And to top it off, I'll show you how to do an interview effect that disguises the voice. Maybe you want to change the pitch because your voice sounds lower when you bring it into Final Cut. And that's probably happening because whatever you use to record is recording at a different bit rate than your project settings. Click on your clip that you're having trouble with and look up here in the info panel and look for the audio. So this is recorded at 48 kilohertz. Now let's go to the project. Select the project and look up here, 48 kilohertz. So I'm okay there because they match. However, there are some devices that record at a different sample rate, like 44.1. So if you bring a clip in that's recorded at 44.1 kilohertz into a 48 kilohertz project, your voice might sound lower. If that's the case, just modify your project settings and set your sample rate to match that of your clips. Now, if you still wanna change your pitch, I'll show you a few ways. One way to change the pitch is to retime your clip. Select your clip, press Command R, and we get the retiming tools coming up here. If we pull to the right, we make it slower. If we push to the left, we make it faster. Listen to my voice at normal speed. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Now let's make it faster. I'm making it faster and you would think, okay, now he's gonna sound like a chipmunk, right? Not so. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. So it still sounds like me just talking fast. Now let's slow it way down. You would think it's gonna sound real deep and slow. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Even though I was talking slow, I still sounded normal. And that's because of this little function right here. Select your clip and go up to the retiming tools. This says preserve pitch and there's a check mark next to it. So it's keeping the pitch of my voice when I speed something up or slow it down. If I disable it, then I'm going to sound very different. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. I should be in one of those R&B love bands. Oh yeah, retime that clip, baby. And then let's see what it sounds like sped up. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Chipmunk City, right? So, one way to change the pitch is to retime the clip and turn off preserve pitch. Let's auto tune this clip. And if that looking glass gets broke, mama's gonna buy you a Billy Goat. Mmm, Billy Goat, what a great present. Okay, so to auto tune this, Go to the effects browser and scroll down to the voice category under the audio effects. Drag and drop pitch correction onto your clip. Go to your audio inspector and under the effects category you'll see pitch correction. Click on this little icon to open up the editor and here we have our pitch correction plugin. Under scale select natural min scale and leave the root at C for right now. You want to adjust these here. If your response is up high, you won't hear that auto-tune effect, so bring it all the way down, and then you can mess with this octave slider as well. Let's hear what it sounds like right now. And if that looking glass gets broke. All right, we've got that auto-tune effect going on. I'm gonna crank this up. Let's see what that does. And if that it's broke. Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. You can also play around with the root note 
and get some different sounds. Pretty quick way to do auto-tune in Final Cut, right? Final Cut has a ton of built-in pitch adjusting, changing effects. Go to your effects browser and down to the voice section and you'll see at the top here you have quite a few. Let's add a few of these. Alien, Cartoon, and uh, Robot. Go to your Audio Inspector Effects section and let's turn off Robot and Cartoon. Turn Alien off as well. Here's me talking normal. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. All right, here's with Alien on. Here's cartoon animals. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. And this is my favorite robot. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Each of these have some parameters that you can change. Average robot, kind of boring. Let's see if we can tweak that up. Let's change to Android and let's increase the amount. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. That's pretty cool. Drag the amount slider way down, and now I sound like a character from Star Wars. Fast ways to change the color. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. It's that character. It's a Princess Leia, and she's dressed up, and she has um, as a bounty hunter, and she's got uh, Chewbacca, and they're going to save Han Solo, and she's got the thermal detonator in her hand. That's what that's what I sound like. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. So if you need a quick drag and drop change to your pitch, these are the effects for you. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. If you want to change your pitch quickly, use the pitch effect. Drag and drop it onto your clip and then use the amount slider to change your pitch. If you want it to be lower, drag it to the left. If you want it to be higher, to the right. Let's take a listen. You can also keyframe this if you want to change from one shift, one pitch to another. Let's start low. Add a keyframe and move forward in time and go up to normal. That adds another keyframe. Let's listen. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. So I went from a low pitch to my normal voice. If you want more control, check out the pitch shifter effect. It's underneath the voice category in the audio effects drag and drop it onto your clip and click on the icon here to open up the tool. Set your mix to a hundred and then start playback. Really fast ways to change the color. Use the semitones to go lower or higher and you can get really detailed here. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. I'm now let's try higher. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. You can also change timing to vocals, which will be better suited for what I'm doing right here. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. A cool effect you can do is turn this mix down to like 50%. You'll hear my normal voice and the pitch voice together. I'm going, I'm going to share with you two really fast, fast ways, ways to change, change the, the color. color. Let's say I don't want people to know who this is. I want to disguise myself. Like in those interviews where they're real dark and you can't see their face and they alter the voice. Well, Final Cut's got a real simple preset for that. Again, under voice, audio effects, it's called disguised. Drag and drop that onto your clip and you'll see immediately I sound like one of those disguised interviews. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. You can tweak this. You could use a female voice 
You could do another preset called a new scramble. Let's try that out and then let's change the amount. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Sounds pretty similar. You can also click on these icons to open up the different plugins and really tweak them and get it to exactly how you want. But I'm happy with what I have, so we'll leave them as is. The next thing to really sell this effect is we've got to hide this beautiful face. It's a, such a shame to hide it, but we have to. Go up to the stylized section in the effects, the video effects, and look for this one called sensor. Drag and drop it to your clip, and you'll see this pixelated area. Use this on-screen control to put it over the head, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Go to the video inspector, and under the effects you'll see sensor. We can reduce the amount of pixelation, and we can also change the sensor method. We could go blur if we wanted, or, some, or dark in a rectangle. I like pixelate, so we'll keep it there. All right, let's hear it and see it. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. No one will ever know it was me. Now that you know how to change audio pitch in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to add text. I made another video called How to Add Animated Text to Final Cut Pro. Go on, click, you'll love it.